This is the William of Expensable 66. And I'm looking at the moon through the double glazed window. Let's just see how the view looks like. Okay, I've used the William Optics and uh, I've used also Celestron C90 Maxitoff, uh, which is really sharp. This is the best uh, quality you can get of a Maxitoff. And William Optics was sharper. It's a refractor and I'm not surprised at all. Although there is a little bit green tinge uh, in, the bow, in the edge of the moon. Not much, but just sometimes you notice it. With that, you don't have that, but the image in this one is really sharp. It's amazing. When I look at the moon with this uh, Petzobol 66mm refractor and the IPC 16mm Nirvana, I can feel the heat. When the light is concentrated, I can feel the heat in my eye. It really concentrates the light and uh, whatever heat comes from that it's very amazing okay i'm now looking at the, the moon again with the celestron c90 and i can say the image is almost the same um, I think that green or a little yellow tinge is because of the eyepiece. This is a probably lantanium glass it has in it, which makes uh, the image slightly yellow. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's actually nice. Also, I noticed that I can feel the heat with this one also. The heat of the moon on my eye. That's really strange. Even if I put my skin here, like skin of face, I can feel the heat. It's amazing. Moon is so strong, you know, powerful rays coming from it as if. <laughs> Rarely I have felt such a thing. Of course, uh, the light usually dazzles the eye, and you need to sometimes use the moon filter. But this time I feel the heat. Two telescopes that are used to look at the moon tonight. C Celestron C19 Mac uh, is the Maxitoff telescope. And this is the William Optic 66 Petzobol uh, ED um, refractor. Both of them are very compact. You can see almost the same size. And uh, let me just put them side by side exactly. Yeah, the same size, and and now just just slightly bigger for the uh, Petzobol William Optics. The image quality in both of them are excellent. Um, in the Maxitoff, the f ratio focal ratio is bigger, and that means that the image is quite larger. With the same eyepiece, I use this Nirvana. 16 millimeter sky watch and it one 82 degrees 16 millimeter eyepiece on this one that gives a very uh, much a smaller image but the contrast and details are really good both of them are really good i felt that this one was a slightly sharper probably uh, although the magnification it will be different because of the focal ratio of this is 
practically equal to 1000 and the focal ratio um, sorry focal length of it is around 1000 and focal length of this is around 400 or 300 yeah something like that so quite big difference in that sense uh, the strange thing that I found in both of them is that uh, I felt a lot of heat from the moon uh, through the eyepiece was coming to me, to my eye. I could feel the heat on my skin even. With this one, it's the same. Although it was a little bit scattered because of the, you know, scattered image. Image is a little bit expanded, magnified. This one more concentrated. That's a strange. It's the first time I've really feel the heat of it. I usually feel the light, excessive light. But these two are really good uh, example that moon actually can, uh, is a reflective sunlight, reflected, reflected sunlight from the sun coming to us. And uh, yeah, nice, uh, you know, portable telescope. Both of them are portable. Which one you can carry easier? Probably this one, the William Optics Petzabo 66 millimeter, slightly longer but uh, less um, chunky. Although the weight of them, I feel the Petzabo is actually heavier. Yeah, yeah, a quarter. Uh, well, yeah around one third heavier although this one is a bit chunky i cannot really put my hand around it and lift it but i can do from here relatively lighter compared to this this is really chunky and heavy a metal it's complete metal and good glass inside it at least four elements, two elements here and two elements of the petzable here. This one has one mirror and one uh, meniscus. And that's it. And the mirror here for the diagonal, that's a two inch even. Yeah, probably two inch also makes it heavy. Two inch diagonal. But anyway, both of them are nice uh, compact telescopes. Uh, this is ready immediately. The only issue, uh, for putting the eyepiece here, you have to really rise the eyepiece. Just barely holds it uh, with the grip here. Otherwise, with the image will not come into focus. With this one, you anything you put comes into focus. With this one, no. So you have to use certain eyepieces that comes into focus. And this one, uh, after this modification, that I didn't push it completely down. I just let it has a tip of the, uh, you know, eyepiece barrel be gripped by this uh, ring and made it possible to actually bring the image to focus. So that's the difference uh, in the thing. So instead of a trick, it's like exactly like a Sky Watcher uh, 72 EZ in that sense. Not all the eyepieces. That makes it more probably more photography, suitable for photography.